What's going on, you guys? This is the Incredible Greek, and we are back for another episode of Luke Cage, baby. So, the last episode, episode three, left with a huge explosion, literally. Cotton Mouth just blew up that sweet old uh, Chinese lady, lady's shop. The Chinese restaurant. I think it was a Chinese restaurant. And Luke Cage was there, and... So, last we left off... It left off with an explosion, literally. Cotton Mouth just blew the freaking hell out of this building with uh, that, that old Chinese lady. I went with uh, Luke Cage as well. And there was no remorse. There was no remorse in Cotton Mouth's uh, face whatsoever. He just like giggled and like just walked off after blasting the place with a bazooka. So here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh, she can't be alive. There's no way she's alive. Luke actually got knocked unconscious. Shut up! In here you got no voice. You got no rights. Oh. You used to be a citizen. So, but from the moment you reach the bottom of stupid, your dumb ass is long. That's when he's going into prison. Substitute. <laughs> Rule number three. Ain't no talking when I'm talking. Oh, this is before he got his powers, huh? Placing yourself in solitary without actually going to the hole. You can't trust nobody in a place like this. Because you used to be a cop? Will you stop bringing it up that he used to be a cop? And I ain't never sent nobody to see you. Fucking all the staff members. Oh, you were a cop? Wink, wink. Beat the shit out of him. Is that the dude you mentioned? Yeah, that's it. I said three things get a cop locked up. Oh, shite. Power of pussy. Yeah. I take pride in my power over pussy, and I ain't never seen a day in lock up. Oh. Oh, oh, shades going at him. Now they shades, isn't it? Is that shades? Oh! Yeah, it is shades. <laughs> you just got your asses beat. So that's why shades doesn't recognize him because he had the full beard and hair. Over five. You learn that in the military? Or during your police training? How'd you like to live like a king, using them fists of yours? We got some bad boys. They're pretty good with their hands, and they make money in here. Good ass money. I want you to get in on this. Believe it or not, it'll benefit both of us. I get oh. God, how's she still alive? How's she still alive? The only fell on us. Something came flying to the building, and I got you out of the way. <laughs> my, my leg is trapped. I smell... Yes. We're not going to have a lot of time, but we have to be careful. I'm kind of strong. <laughs> you staying behind? Took me a while to realize that I was raised with manners. Should have done this a long time ago. Stacking chairs is easier than talking. You must smell a lot of shit having your ass on your shoulders all the time. I make you an easy offer throwing some perks and you just shrug them off. Yeah, it's lucky I'm a patient man. Smart enough to know you'd say no. Give me time to build a backup plan. Squabble, put down that chair. Oh no! A little world apart, starting with your homie squabbles. No squabbles. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Shit. Rack 
him stop. I don't move quick. You man's gonna get another 20 years easy or life. You want this stop? You tell me what I want to hear. Asshole. Son of a bitch. Yeah, smart son of a bitch to you. Stay on your center line. Ah, oh, look at the bruise, Stay man. Chin, chest, stomach, and if you have to. Poor beating on. Nuts. Poor squabbles getting beaten on. Use the box. Now the iron ring. They're filming this shit? They're broadcasting it? What? Sending the fights off. Welcome to the internet. Oh. Come on, Luke. That's it, right there. Oh, back to mid. Ow, 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 ow. Nice. Luke getting all bloody, man. Ow. I thought I had broken through, Carl. We had broken through, but you... Now you just seem broken. It's not what you mm. think. It ain't all about me. Sometimes... Survival costs. What does he do other than creep around? He's a legitimate doctor. Carl, you can trust me. The guards established a fight ring and the convicts fight until they're broken. Oh, what he's telling them the truth. That, I don't know. That's why my face looks the way it does. And I may have dragged into this bullshit unintentionally. Me? Yeah. Rackham's a smart dude. He knows I like coming here walk away from the fight game. I know. I got a plan, though. I'm gonna build evidence against Rackham and shut his shit down. Hey. You look a little shook, Squabbles. What was Lucas talking about? No, come on, man. Squabbles ain't snitching, is he? Trying to get out of the fight game. Who told you that? Your girlfriend. He's lying. He squabbles. He lies. I Ain't think. Question. You're right. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Oh shit! Twiggy! What's gonna happen, man? What's gonna happen? Oh! He's healing! He's healing! Look at that instant six packs. Instant six packs. Looks like the cop got what he deserved. Looks like, oh man, now I can't beat this dude up. What's up, boy? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll be damned. I can, but I'm gonna need some help. Tiny's leg is broken. I can't believe you did this. Which is why I think you should keep what happened down here between us. <laughs> the original costume. I like that. What is that? Luke, 
418. He used to tell me that no one can cage a man if he truly wants to be free. So Luke Freeman? Nah. It's a bit on the nose. <laughs> Some pretty miraculous things out you surviving that explosion. You saved the owner's life. Why don't you just tell us your name? My name is Luke Cage. That was a sweet episode. So that was a really good, another really good episode. Um, so basically, this entire episode nearly was the origin story of Luke Cage, um, or well, him becoming Luke Cage. Um, and I like, yeah, I like that. I, I, I like this episode. This was a good episode, a really good episode. I always, I always love a good like origin story. I always love uh, an origin story. So uh, it was good to see uh, Luke Cage's uh, story. You know, unfolding and you know becoming who he is and setting everything up from where the, the uh, series uh, starts off. Um, obviously, we didn't, we didn't see him exactly meet pops and all that, but you know we know it leads up to that. But um, yeah, well, so we finally see his connection with Shades. You know, Shades was a part of a dirty organization inside that prison. The uh, you know the the, the the illegal fighting with the prisoners you know his first love that you know he, you know he got together with uh the psychiatrist she's the psychiatrist isn't she psychiatrist or something like that you know and see there's see another character that I can't that I liked as well uh, squabbles he got killed damn man another nice another nice character that I like gets killed squabbles at least we didn't actually get to see his death on screen so that would have been that would have been heartbreaking man seeing the squabbles go down man right so that was episode four of Luke Cage and uh, once again it was another great episode really enjoyed it can't wait to see the rest of the series I'm not even halfway through the series yet and the series is already great so I uh, can't wait to see what the rest of the series has installed for us um, I tell you what, I'd love to see, I've said it before, I think I said it in the last episode, I'd love to see Luke Cage versus Iron Fist. That would be a really, really interest, interesting matchup. Maybe it will happen in the uh, the Defenders when they cross over. So maybe it will happen. So I, I, if that happens, I'll be... Wait, I can't wait to see that if it does happen. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Right guys, so, right guys, so, right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, uh, don't forget to check out my Twitter account for, you know, announcements, and, you know, for live streams and other reactions, and uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys later on the next video, the Greek is out, bye. Oh, ooh, I thought it went, come ah! on Kid Flash. <coughs> Oh, wow.